As we were on the ground and the situation ports were being sent back to the base, you know, I knew we had six killed in action, but no names were sent over the radios. That's just one of the protocols that you know, U.S. military follows. When I arrived at a base called Asadabad, that was the time that we switched from one helicopter to another to go to Bagram Airfield, which is like where their main hospital is. Because I, w I wasn't, you know, severely injured, but I had a few concussions and they wanted me to get, you know, obviously looked at to make sure there was no injuries. When I was on there, I got informed that my best friend, Sean Langevin, he didn't make it. So that was, that was really hard to hear. I'd say about a week after the attack, I went back to attend some of the funerals for those that lost their lives that day. 9 November, it's a day that'll be fresh in my mind for the rest of my life, I have no doubt. And definitely something, you know, that day changed me as far as my chosen career. You know, something changed that day and I, I, I can't even tell you what it is. You know, it's not positive or negative, it's just something was different.